This week on Clown College. Brandon don't discriminate. <laughs> the reason I said white is he because... He doesn't, man. The reason I and said, that's important yeah. that he said that. <laughs> because the reason You're I... are laughing. We let me, let me take taking this more serious. Yes. <laughs> the reason I said white is because my fiance is white right now. But by, if, I, if I was, like, years ago, like, free or something, like, then, 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 then cut that part. <laughs> you see. heard it here cut first, that, I'm, I'm trying white to White lives <laughs> matter. Let's go, Brandon. Yeah, no, well, I'm trying to say, <laughs> like, if part. it was like that, then it would be anybody, man. I like every... Because, dude, especially when I... Man, I like everything. Yeah, anybody, every dude. He likes yeah. anybody. Not anybody. Not, 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 not just any anybody. Like, I like anybody as a friend, but not, not talking about, like, <laughs> like when you talking about doing some shit, like, uh, <laughs> doing clapping some shit. chi. I don't, uh, uh, what the... Clapping chi, know. dude. I can, I, I'm digging a deep hole here. This is the Clown College Podcast. We're just a couple open micers trying to make our way through the scene. Where we interview comedians throughout different stages of their comedy career, no matter if they're open micers, headliners, or traveling comedians. I'm here too, Jamie 2.0. I just talk a lot more. Damn it, Brandon. Go sit in the corner. Oh, shit. Damn, now the headphones, it's cold on my ears, man. <laughs> I don't have my fucking built-in earmuffs anymore. That boy JJ got a haircut. Hell yeah. yeah. Oh, there you go. <laughs> the mullet's gone. But I should have went to Mike Sales, dude. Yeah. yeah. Should have went to Mike. You just can't trust a barber with no hair, dude. Mm-mm. You just can't. You, you didn't know this barber? No, nah, this was my first time getting my hair cut by him. But shout out Mark. Mark. He's Hell cool. Yeah. I. You told him don't touch the beard. Don't line it up. <laughs> Could you tell, dude? <laughs> <laughs> No, nah, see, that's what people don't understand, dude. My mullet, a black lady cut my hair, mm-hmm. and she gave me the mullet, dude. I did ask for it, yeah, you know, but she did a good job. Mm-hmm. And then uh, Mark is my first time meeting him. Same barber shop. Yeah, yeah, same oh, okay. barber shop. So you go in and you don't, you're not loyal to a barber. Well, I would have signed up with the lady, but I guess she doesn't work there no more. Mm. So hmm. went a different route. I just picked any available stylist. That's how you know you don't give a fuck. Yeah, that's it. Like, <laughs> yeah, whatever. Yeah. I go to till this guy dies. I'm with him. <laughs> till he dies? Yeah, until he goes. Hell until yeah. I leave, until I move or something. What's the worst thing that could happen to a barber, dude? Like Parkinson's? Yeah, it has to be. Yeah. Yeah, that's a rough injury. Or death. You know, death yeah. part. You just don't want it to start setting in while he's giving you a haircut and he like jabs the scissors. <laughs> Re- <laughs> I was listening. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. He was listening nah. intently. Oh. Yeah, I was very listening. I was very listening. <laughs> very much kidding. so listening. What's going on, y'all? What, 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 uh, Captain America over there. Yeah. I know, man. I lo- oh, yeah. Speaking of Captain uh, <laughs> America, guess what happened, man? What happened, man? Man, I almost got emotional yesterday, man. Dude, this dude, my, my, you're now a brother. Ace, he pulled up some comic books and some cards. Shout out Ace Shout Brady. out Ace yeah. Buggy. And they weren't any normal because this is like the stuff Spider Man. Yeah, Wolverine. You had <laughs> the Fantastic Four. You had, man, there were so many people up in there, man. Dude. And then the cards. I I, I think I saw Deadpool in there. <laughs> like an original 1992. Oh, my dude. Brandon, that, dude. I love you, man. Yeah, I love hilarious. you all, too. <laughs> yeah. I love you love that shit, dude. Yeah. Yeah, Hell cool, yeah! Dude. Hell yeah! And they were like in real good condition too. Very good condition. Yeah, I seen them. They were in sleeves. Yes. Oh yeah. yeah, and those were from 1992. 1991. Yeah. Damn. 1990. Ace hooked you up. Yeah, man. Uh, Thank you. They, they were leaving Venom. Damn, Venom. I know. Venom's pretty <laughs> sick, dude. I know. He's pretty sick. Yeah, I know. I know. Man. Venom was the first black superhero. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. <I'm> just- <laughs> Oh uh, shit! What happened at you at oh, two o'clock yeah. in the morning? Man? Yeah, man. Uh, I don't know about that. We don't know. We have no. So idea I haven't told him yet, but dude, some crazy shit happened, man. I embarrassed the shit out of myself. So I was talking to my friend, and he kind of he kind of set me up for this. Like I'm kind of upset now because I just realized it. He didn't have to do that. So I called the wrong number, and it, I swear it was some lady. And as soon as I was talking to her, I was like, "Hey, you like what?" And I was like, "Is this is this neighbor?" She's like, "No, no." And I hung up. And then I FaceTimed him. I was like, yo, bro, was that you? And he's like, oh, yeah, man. Yeah, I heard everything you said the second ago. I was like, oh, for real? So you heard me say wrong? He's like, oh, yeah. I was like, oh, man, you can't be playing like that. He's like, yeah, whatever, man. And then I hung up and called him again. And it was that same other number. 
and she picked up again and she was like what what and i'm like hey man what, what? and it, it's me it's me and then after a while she said you drunk and i was like no i'm not drunk and, and uh, it's me and then i realized it wasn't him and then i just slowed down i was like oh this is a whole middle-aged chick right here that i don't fucking know so i slowed it down and i said okay this is what happened i explained it to her like a professional like most people, most people would have just hung up the phone and said, "My yeah. bad." But me, <laughs> yeah. no, I literally stopped. I literally stopped because she was like, "Man, you just woke me up." I was like, "Hold on, hold on, my bad." So what happened is, is my friend, he told me that uh, it was a wrong number and he was joking around. And then after he joked around, I called back and it was you again. And I am sorry, and I'm not drunk. I guarantee you that. And then she's like, "Oh, okay, all right." And I was like, "Yeah, my bad." So uh, yeah, he's like, "Oh, it's okay. Let me go back." I was like, "All right, goodbye." And that's but how it why went. did you explain it? Because I felt I had to. I don't want to just think some random drunk dude just picking up phones all night, being like woohoo. No. So, do you hold on? So, look, what what <laughs> happened? Because okay, so he called you, prank calling you, right? No, no, he called me. We were talking on the phone, mm-hmm. and then when I called back, I had two numbers on the contacts by accident, and I clicked on the wrong one, and it was a whole different person. And when I went back to him, I was like, oh, man, dude, was that you in that voice? And he's like, yeah, man, that was me the whole time. So I thought it was really him, and it wasn't. It was like really somebody else. <laughs> like this wasn't. A, this was legit. I even looked. That was a different number. I don't know who that was. How did you call the number? I, I just literally clicked on the thing. I was like, "Oh, here it is." I don't know if the well, number. But got if you changed. was on the phone with him, who were you calling? First, I called him on the Facetime because there was two different contacts. Uh-huh. The fuck? <laughs> oh, that was my lisp. My lisp. Like you, your lip possessed wow. you. <laughs> contacts. Damn, man. Damn. But contacts. What, what is that? There's two contacts things? Those. There was two, two different di- numbers. Yes, there was two different. the same contact. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha, and I, gotcha. I was like, I don't know how they got mixed up. I don't know who the hell that was. <laughs> I hope I didn't know them. That would be weird. Yes, but you probably did. Yeah. But I think it's it's weirdly considerate how you stayed on the phone to explain oh, the situation. Hell yeah. And it seems like she's more understanding than most people would be. Yeah. yeah. To and be like, be, oh, okay, thank yeah. you. Go back. Yeah, they're phone. like, fuck you. I just hang up the phone. I fuck you too. Yeah, for sure. That's what yeah, I would Yeah, man. I'm not going to sit here and let somebody cut me off for two minutes. Hell no. What the fuck? No. Why, but why didn't you just hang up? Oh, well, because, dude, I got to be, res- I can't let you, I can't let this person be like, this drunk person called me, now she's going to talk to her friends the next day, and everybody's going to be like, what happened you last are. night? He has I a good know. conscience. Yeah. I you know. didn't have the number saved, you had to save to somebody else. Yeah, I know, but I feel like she would have woke up and be like, this crazy dude at one o'clock in the morning kept calling me, and, and, and I think he was drunk, and I didn't want them to think and look and be like, oh my gosh, I know him, that's Brandon. No, I didn't want that. Oh. Got to have a good reputation. Mm-hmm. Can't be doing that. No. no. Was she old? Sounded like probably 30s or 40s. Oh, so Sorry if I'm so being young. too old. Maybe. Yeah, She's watching. <laughs> I don't know. Never know. She'd be like, that was me. Well, this is a prank call. You got oh, he's me. He's paranoid man. after we <laughs> got him. Yeah. 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 We're not going to prank call you anymore, Brandon. You have our word. Okay. You have Dom's word. Yeah. yeah. Oh. You got my word. Okay. I ain't going to okay. prank call so you. You're anymore. not going to prank call nope. me. Somebody else might prank call. <laughs> no, you are the here's best the number the right here Ooh. <laughs> here no, it I'm is sure. no nah well maybe no. <laughs> so uh what's up man i'm just chilling dude almost died yesterday my tires are completely bald this motherfucker right here dude i did i just didn't know i went and got my oil changed and they were like hey man your <laughs> tires have no tread on them and i was like oh shit and i looked and one of them literally looks like as smooth as this fucking table and it That's was raining crazy. yesterday, and I was sliding and shit. But I had to get to the Shag Nasty, dude, because I'm the host, and I go down with the ship, dude. <laughs> That's how we fucking do it. Good-ass Mike. Yeah, we're shooting this late. That was a wild one, dude. That uh-huh. was. That was oh, a yeah. wild one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it was. It was. That was good. Yeah, uh, yeah. We had pleasures right before it. That was fun. And then we went to Shag Nasty's. That was a good time. Had some little uh, hiccups. It was an altercation. Yeah, a little altercation. Yeah. But, Let's settle. Learned how to play pool a little I'm, bit. Oh, Brandon was. I yeah. think Brandon's a pool shark now. Uh-huh. I was learning. Certified. I was trying to Ace learn. Ace was beating your ass, wasn't he? Oh, hell yeah. I never <laughs> he has played. his own cue. He, he made his own cue. He was doing tricks and yeah, stuff dude. and all that. I was like, okay, man. I, how do you? I don't know. Like, <laughs> like I was literally Ace. in the back Shout just watching, Ace. seeing the hand move. I was like, okay, so they're going like that. All right, there you go. <laughs> Why she go like that? Dude, that's yeah. how it is. That's how you got to do with the pool table. Show the camera. 
Okay, so I was like with the pool. He got this is the pool table. Uh, this is the pool stick. Mm-hmm. Pool table stick. This is my hand trying to do. You got to get in there like that, or go in there like that. <laughs> That's how you do it. One of two ways. What? <laughs> I don't know. Vertical, I'm still learning. Horizontal entry. I'm still learning. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're gonna figure it out. Mm-hmm. Yes, we are. Yeah, we had uh, we had uh, stand up live this weekend. That was good. Uh, Sunday, mm-hmm. Sunday, you didn't get to make it. Unfortunately, dude. Yeah, yeah. Dude. I'm not pissed about it. Yeah, at all. <laughs> dude, it was. But it, it was good. It was it was a light crowd though. Like it was like, how many you think? How many people you think that weren't comics? <sighs> Including like, eight, probably uh-huh. seven at yeah. most, maybe eight, seven, eight, maybe. And that's me saying and stand up most. live. It's light. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, it was a Sunday. Yeah. Yeah. Like when we pulled up, that parking lot was not really. Yeah, because, you know, if nobody's parked, like, on the side where the door is in the yeah. back, mm-hmm. if nobody's yeah. parked there, like, ooh. Yeah. Yeah. There's probably no show before it either. Mm-hmm. No. Yeah, because they said they opened up the doors at 530, so it was 530 on a Saturday. But if you got there at 530, you had to wait, you know, what, two and a half hours for yep. the show. Yeah. You had to wait till like, 7 o'clock. Oh, uh, I yeah. thought it was. No, no, no. But it, it didn't start at 7 o'clock. No way it started yeah. at 7. 730. My yeah, bad. I think yeah, it started at two two hours, yeah. Uh, but uh, it was fun though. We got up there. I'll be on the showcase three twenty. Hell yeah, dude! Hell yeah! yeah. Hell yeah! Appreciate it, guys. If you don't open with the Aquaman joke, dude, I will storm out of the building. Then I will. I fu- I don't give a fuck. I will open with that joke. That shit makes me laugh. Oh. And I know it. Like people. Dude, I like, just realized we stopped putting our stand up clips on the podcast. Yeah, dude. I just realized well, we stopped. Doing we gotta that. get. We gotta get them from from Alex. Oh yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. Like we have to get them all from Alex because since he's been recording, shout out Alex Z, Hell he's Alex the fucking Z. man, Blah. the goat, the goat, dude. Panda Express the delivery man. Hell yeah, and I, it's not like that. <laughs> he actually did it, you know. He's probably he's out there poser. right now with our Panda Express. He's the shit. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, he uh, he videotapes all of our sets, and uh, we haven't been good about getting them. Getting them from them and putting them on YouTube and shit. Yeah, but we, we'll, we'll we'll start it back. I do want to get put that Aquaman one up here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. we'll insert that for sure. Yeah, we'll insert that. Was that was a great out. one. <laughs> that hit last night. It hit. That was so. I was so surprised at it. It's never hit. It has never hit. It's and uh, mm, terrific. People laughed at it. Yeah. Oh, did I did I did it there? Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, I did do it there. <laughs> oh, I, I forgot that, that I oh, did it. Oh, I did do that. Dude, you got to come back on the drink, dude. <laughs> this is getting out of hand, man. <laughs> yeah, terrific was fun too. That was a great top. All right, that, <laughs> I'm glad y'all had fun, man. <laughs> yeah, no, it was a good. It was good. It was a. It was a learning experience. You know <laughs> what happened, man? I don't know, dude. It was. It was a. Your boy didn't do too well, man. <laughs> no, no. I might have to return this T-shirt that I bought. It says "White Boy of the Year." On it. <laughs> I might have to send it back after that, dude. Hold uh, up. I guess. <laughs> that was a good punchline. I like that. No, that's real. I did buy that shirt. You oh. did? Yeah, I'll wear it next week. Chad Hanks over here. Oh damn! Oh, White Boy. I, yeah. I'll do with that Boop. entire next podcast in Jamaican. Dude. Hell yeah! Let's or patois. <laughs> Patois. Pata. <laughs> I don't know. I probably said it wrong, too. Yeah, what, what, what was it supposed to be? Patois. Pata. Pa- yeah, Patois. 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 Yeah, you got it. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah, look at that. Patois. Fuck yeah. Yeah, dude. hell yeah, dude. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to do any accent or nothing. This is me really genuinely trying. Stop saying you're sorry, Brandon. You know, I'm not sorry. No. Talk your <laughs> shit, Brandon. <laughs> Yeah, go off on him. Yeah, let me let me put this on some music. And I didn't know it was gonna be that long. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know it was my. What I does thought, he have access over there? I thought it was gonna stop soon. It just that kept did go off for a long going. time. Dang, got the fucking my nuclear bad, launch y'all. codes over there. <laughs> Haiti just got wiped anymore. off the map when you press that button. Wow. Like you said, a learning experience, man. Yeah, but you, hey, <laughs> oh, but yeah, I, I love I love that because I, I like I bomb like that, and then as soon as I you know. go home, <laughs> wow, probably once a, once or twice a week. <laughs> Same. <laughs> Same. But you know when you're you're so mad and you go home and now your new shit's killer. 
Oh yeah, I mean it just I gotta try it out more. That was the first time I told it. Yeah, but that shit was good. Yeah. The haircut, was, shit, I lighted you wrong at Pleasures because yeah. I didn't start the fucking timer, so mm. I didn't know where you were at, and then I knew you, I could tell you were doing new stuff. So I'm like, let me just let me just give him like so he knows he can get off whenever he wants to. And then when I was going like this, I realized that I, I stopped it way too <laughs> short. So I was like oh. this, and you're like, Dom's trying to wrap it up. But I was like, no, no, I'm no, to but I, I knew I was only up there for like two minutes when yeah. I saw the light, so I was like. Okay, well, I'm gonna at least say the rest of this news stuff. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's and why I was trying to. I was trying to tell you. I was like, oh, I fucked up. I fucked up. Just keep on going. That was a weird set, man. Because I fucked up a lot of times, but it, it didn't got huge go laughs. Man. Oh man, you did really good. Oh yeah, and the stairway to heaven joke on me. That fucking. Blew oh well, the fuck that I, I've said that one before. It was just the perfect time. Yeah, yeah, but I'm saying your whole set was going so good. Uh, yeah, that new shit's good. How to how to work at Shacks? There was. I mean, it was like 10 people who had just heard me tell it at pleasure oh okay and that was when the music was still on uh-huh. jonathan like uh told me about it when the keenan went up the second comic and i was like oh shit the music's still fucking playing you can't really hear him so yeah <laughs> out of your ass shout out dia turn off the music dia shout out uh that's that's what they did at um at mike sales mic at, oh, man. at the great. played music through the dish the dish the dish come out Second and uh, first and third Mondays, yep. it's a black room. It's it's it was fun. I'll Hosted be there. by Mike yeah. Sales. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> what was, what, was there something Mike else Sales? for that? No, 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 no. That, that, was, that was right. I like yeah. it. No, it. It was fun. Yeah. Like that's my bro. You go in there and you're like, I wonder how they're gonna take everybody. But they loved it. Like they were like all the people in there. Were like you guys were so funny. Alex Z killed. Uh, Jake killed. Uh, Bre- you you want to know who really killed? Dante. Oh hell! Oh yeah! yeah. Murdered. That's not a shot. Murdered. Why are you guys Murdered acting it. surprised? No, dude, it was Dante's so a killer. He's the best. <laughs> he's the best comic in Ontario. <laughs> Dante, we got his ass needs to come on as soon as he gets done he doing does. whatever he's doing. And then he said he'd be out for like two weeks and then I'll come back. Yeah. But uh, Alex Dante. buried me last night, dude. He hit. He struck a nerve. <laughs> <laughs> what? He was like, all right, give it up for JJ. Uh, his entire vocabulary consists of l- words he learned at college that oh, day. Wow. And my, like all the shit I was saying was shit we talked about in class. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, well, fuck you, dude. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, at least you're learning. Yeah. Yeah. At least you're learning. I you remember it for Saying a week. big words and such. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love that crowd, man. They didn't hold back either. Just like, try to sound smarter. You just said and such. <laughs> <laughs> Neither of them big words. Combined, they wouldn't really be that big of a word. <laughs> hey, when well, Brandon got on stage, what the? Yeah. <laughs> so Brandon got on stage. It was this this woman in there, and she it was her birthday. And they were like doing like karaoke before, and these dudes could sing, bro. Oh, they were oh I'm talking about they could sing, sing. One old head, one dude was named Chocolate Chip. He so tried I'm to roast me. I'm gonna tear his ass up next uh, uh, Monday. Uh, I'm gonna roast the shit out of him. He tried to get me. It was, it was a bad roast, but he's he's cool. So he sang. He could sing like Anthony Hamilton. I don't know. Well, you probably don't know that because you watch. But uh, I've heard the name. Yeah. But he could sing like him, and then he got up and did comedy. And they like you could have music in the background if you wanted to. And uh, yeah, uh, dot, oh, whenever so when Brandon comes up there, he says something, and the girl who birthday is who was fucked up, she was like, "Oh, he retarded." Yeah, <laughs> but there's a reason. <laughs> there is a reason. There's a reason for this. There and, is a reason, and I'm very happy. Yep. that this happened because this shows that they were listening to what I was saying before. Oh. You see, when I started my joke, I was talking about the mental illness joke, where I talk about how the black parents don't believe in that. By black parents, I mean my parents, and they call me retarded. So and and they they didn't, I knew that everybody was gonna believe that. So yeah, I was yeah, t- I was yeah. going heavy on that joke, seeing that people listened and they listened they, because as soon as <laughs> I went up, it was kind of like a recognition when they saw me. They're like, "Hey man, that's that retarded dude I know him. I love him." <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what they said. He said two words. He said, All right, "Yeah, it, I only said it twice because he split it up. So it's two. It was two minute sets, and then you take a break." And then everybody else goes up, and then you come back up, and you tag the next person you want to go, and then you go and do another two minutes. You could do improv or whatever you want to do. We all did stand up. Most of us did stand up. And then uh, he said two words as soon as he gets up there. She's like, "Oh, he retarded." Exactly in that voice, <laughs> just exactly. like that. Damn. Oh, he retarded. Yeah, exactly <laughs> like, just that. like that. Buried him. 
What yeah. is the comeback? Uh, and I agreed. I was like, because <laughs> they said, dude, this is exactly what it was. Do a category about points. I was like, oh, shit. What type of points? She said, Re- you retarded. I said, okay, <laughs> reta- there it is. That type. That type. All right. And then I just went with that. <laughs> Improv was amazing. Especially yeah. with you, man. That was oh, fun. Oh, yeah, yeah. We, we, that was good. That we was promoted fun Clown well. College. We were like, we do skits and stuff. And then we did uh, Drug Dealers in Church. Perfect. Okay. And then, Brandon, what did you? I said, I said, I said, I said, he came over. I said, come on. We can't be doing this in church. How much you need? And he's like, "What did you say? How much did you need? How much did I need? What did I say?" He said, "He said one hundred and fifty thousand. Yeah, I was like, give me one hundred and fifty thousand. Yeah, what? <laughs> one hundred fifty thousand. What? That's not how a drug deal works. <laughs> you don't ask for much. No, no I was saying. <laughs> Hold on, I was trying saying, to get involved with this drug deal. <laughs> wait, wait, I was saying like one. That's how much I'm willing to put on the table. Yeah, for drugs. In I, the skit, not, not, not. You, you also yeah, shouldn't do that in real life. Like, not in you real shouldn't life. Be like, what you want? You be like, I have a hundred dollars. You shouldn't do that. No, yeah. no, 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 I wouldn't do that in real how life. How much you got? Yeah, that was my character in the, in the skit. Yeah, 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 Rodney. But it was fun. Yeah, we went on fun. for about like two minutes. It was good. Mm-hmm. It was. We, good. Hey, oh, Brandon did a whole prayer. Yeah, because we were doing it in. Uh, he said the blessing. Yeah, for yeah. The evening oh, drug deal in yeah. church, so he prayed over the drugs. It was yeah. fun. They had a good time. Yes, I did. That's a good mic, though. I like. I like the mic. Mike's gonna change it. I told him we need to change it like at least three minutes. Yes. Do three minutes, and then if you want to come back up, you can do stand up on the spot, uh, or uh, improv for the next two minutes or three minutes, however much time he wants to give. But that's it. That's fun. Hopefully, Great, hopefully fun. some more comics come out and uh, we'll make it out, dude. Yeah, and they got and they got like a built-in crowd. Like there, well, there was good. There's more people there and probably stand up live. Yeah. Oh damn. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> and I didn't know this, but they were blasting the uh, the speakers outside, so oh, everybody yeah. outside heard our stand up sets without the laughs and stuff. You just hear yeah. the microphone feed. <laughs> oh, it's so, so awkward. awkward. Yeah. <laughs> and it was apartment homes too, so everybody trying to yeah. go to bed, and we out there. So what happened with airplane? And they just. You just hear nothing. I, I saw one light on. I was like, somebody's up right there. Uh-huh. <laughs> they yeah. listening. They laughing their ass up. It was fun, though. Yeah, that's what I'm just, what? what is that true? <laughs> right? Isn't right? it like right? a nice area or what? Uh, yeah, it's near my house. Is it? Yeah, near my mom's house. It's Where's like, it at? It's uh, near, uh, you know where the Sparkman Walmart is? Near, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, where the cookout is kind of like yeah. near there. Oh, damn, right okay. Right next to Taco Bell. Yeah. I used to work it's, that store. For real? Serving our country, dude. Stocking <laughs> bread on the shelves. Hell to the... Yeah. Speaking of bread, dude. Peanut check butter. out this Peanut quiz butter. answer. Oh, I yeah, gave dude. Yeah. Show this shit up, man. I yeah. actually started taking notes from this. Hey, make sure... Yeah. 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 Full screen. I don't... I think everything in the picture is cool to show online. I don't think that's really too revealing. I This... this <laughs> by the way... You want me to read it? This quiz was... Proctored. So I had my webcam on and I had to pull out my phone to take this photo. And I looked in the webcam and I was like, please, I swear to you, I'm not cheating. I just want to take a picture of this. And I did it. And then this is the answer I gave. The question something about self concept and how that relates to consumer behavior. And I had no idea what the answer was. So I gave this answer. Go ahead. Should I read it? Yeah. The whole thing? All right. I honestly have no clue about this question, but I'm 100% serious about me being in the top 99% of PB&J makers. <laughs> I've experimented with jellies and peanut butters of different textures, flavors, and qualities. I've used over 27 different types of bread to create over 500 peanut butter and jelly sandwiches in the last calendar year. In my research, I've discovered that crunchy peanut butter is not conducive to making this delicacy unless the bread has an adequate amount of structural integrity. (laughs) Artisano from Sara Lee would be a perfect example of a thick enough cut to withstand the stress placed on it by crunchy peanut butter. Artisano also comes in dessert loaves, including flavors like maple syrup, cinnamon, and a seasonal apple cinnamon loaf. In parentheses, great for making French toast as well. Double parentheses. I don't know if French is capitalized in French toast, but I took a swing. <laughs> in parentheses. I have listed below my top three combinations for PB&Js. Number one, the classic Welch's grape jelly, Jif peanut butter, smooth, obviously, bunny sandwich cut. Number two, the <laughs> fruity thicky. That was my nickname in high school. <laughs> Smucker <laughs> strawberry jelly, Peter, Peter Pan peanut butter, smooth, artisano, brioche. That's a blue label. Look out for the blue pack. 
really eye-popping shade they used. And then number three, the Meta Witch. Choose whatever you want, but uh, put an Uncrustable inside the sandwich. Hmm. So it's two in one. Hell it's embedded yeah. in there. And I did turn this in. <laughs> and, you know. <laughs> You're going to get an A. Like, I actually took notes from this. <laughs> Brandon, well, I wish everybody thought like you. Yeah, man, because this is good. You went 249 words on this. <laughs> well, there's some words above it where I actually tried to give an answer, but uh-huh. it's completely wrong. So I had like 17 minutes left at the end. And instead of trying to like change my answer or fix it, I just wrote that. Because I'm like, I'm going to have more fun doing this, man. I can get a, a video out of this. Hell yeah. That's fucking crazy. Only six points. You should be good. Yeah. Mm, well, you should see. I don't I don't feel confident about, confident the, about the, the other ones either. So, What class is this? Consumer behavior. Mm-hmm. It's a marketing like class. This. I'm a history major. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm just doing all the useless ones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these are like my classes too, dude. <sighs> dude, I can't stand my sports economic class. I don't care if this dude sees this. It's just like the worst teacher in the world, man. Hey. Yeah. Just, not, I mean, he's smart. He knows what he's talking, but his voice is so monotone. Okay. It's just like the, the guy from South Park. Oh, and shit. Then, and then we come here. I was like, oh, my God. And then he does, he'll he'll <laughs> teach, he'll teach, he teaches all the way until the end. And then when he gives us a quiz, it's nothing about what he just fucking talked about. There's yeah. no formulas. It's none of this shit. It's just like basic questions. Oh, dude. I probably have a 15 in that class. <laughs> a 15 out of what? Out of 100. Oh, my gosh. Man. But his grading squ- scale is different. Like It's like 30%. 30% is like a... um. A D, forty percent is a You're C. Yeah, forty there. Yeah, dude, it's bad. Damn, damn. Bro. Like, I, like I, I don't have it in me, but I have a, a quiz out there. It's like my highest is eight out of twenty. Oh. <laughs> dude, I'm telling you this dude. shit. Is, it's like, and then I was like, I failed the test, right? I failed the test so fucking hard. And my other boy, he was like, he failed it too. And then whenever we were reviewing it, he was like, and and most people did good. Most people got A's. I was like, God damn, it's just me. <laughs> Damn. And my other <laughs> army buddy. <laughs> fucking rich. Do it slow, dude. You think yeah. you think everybody else did get an A, or he's he? Was he just I mean, around. the way he said it, he was like he was he was like, and most people got an A. He got a couple seasons, and he didn't say anything about the S. And I'm like, everybody got an A, but I, on his grading scale. <laughs> what if he's just oh, gaslighting his, his students? Uh, yeah, I don't know, <laughs> man. Like, yeah, everybody else did good. If you did bad, you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> yeah. Everybody failed the test. You're like, what the fuck? Yeah, I hate teachers like that. <laughs> and it's not, it's not, not nothing wrong with him. He's, he seems like he's a good guy, but he's just so monotoned and fucking like he goes off the paper. He, he he writes all the shit on the board. You're trying to keep up with him writing, so you're like taking all the notes. You're not really. I, I'm not really listening to what he's saying. I'm just trying to get it all down. And then when I look at the notes from home, like I have no idea what the fuck this shit means. I got it. I took the class because it said sports. It's an elective. I shouldn't have to work this hard at an elective. Yeah, I've already take taken econ one and two. What else you want me to do? <laughs> exactly, one and two. That's it. Exactly. Yeah, bro. That's I got A's in that shit. This shit. I mean, it's just fucking. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah, they're they're th- they're throwing the same thing at you. It's like, oh, but this is a sports sports e- economics Look. class to me would just be like, here, watch Moneyball. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> write a one thousand page or one thousand word essay. <laughs> one thousand percent. It's crazy. I looked at I looked at my boy and I'm like. Did you know it was going to be like this? He was like, no, I'm about to talk to my advisor tomorrow. Because <laughs> we got the GI Bill, so we have to like submit it in. My advisor will be receiving a strongly <laughs> worded email yeah. from me. The fuck is this? Yeah. Well, fuck, fuck college, man. Yeah. I remember I had one uh, college dude. <clears throat> he was very crazy. This teacher, uh, he he basically got fired like at the end of the semester because he wasn't like good at really teaching us. And every time like we would like ask him a question, he'd be like, oh, you don't know it, huh? I guess you're not that smart. Like one time he said to me, he told me this. He said, yo, if you would have went to my Foot Locker, because he used to work at a Foot Locker, he said, if you ever went to that Foot Locker and I was the cashier, I could have robbed you right now. And I said, oh, okay, that's what's up, man. And then after that, he recently got fired because everybody kept complaining about him. Because all he would do is, he'd be like, you know you know how to do this? And then get some M&M's and pop it in his mouth. You don't know how to do that? All right. And that's what he would do. So when he got fired, he looked at us and said this. He literally said this to the class. He said, so y'all got me fired? Oh, that's how it is? 
all right, whatever. And then he came back two years later. He's right there right now. This is, this is A now? Yeah. <laughs> it's a teacher shortage. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I do. It is, man. <laughs> So he got fired for eating M and M's. No, because he because everybody I don't think that was no <laughs> because everybody in the class because everybody in the class failed. Okay, even me. But, well, I mean that's not a surprise. Uh, that's math that's is my struggle. Yeah, right. uh, coming from the guy with the fifteen, you know. Yeah, dude, and I'm right there with you, man. Power. Yeah, yeah. come on, I hate Fist this shit. Bumping. You don't need all of this. It's a program for all that shit. You just need to do know how to do basic arithmetic. Yeah, but yeah. college is like a thing of like, you know, just do this because we told you to do it. Exactly. It's not really like a helpful learning thing. Maybe for you some learn, you Like in, in my business classes, I learn all the time. You know what I mean? Like uh, supply chain, even the ones that are are not interested to me, like uh, SPO operations and all that shit. But like good teachers, even if the subject matter is, you know, mundane, they can spice it up a little bit. And True. then that makes you listen. Or people like me, because I'm not, you know, some of the, most of these motherfuckers are like kids, 21 and shit, and they're just like, oh, I, I'm going to get this big job. I don't know, I'm 36, man. I'm just, I'm doing this. I get paid to go here. And if I didn't, there wouldn't be a chance in hell that I stepped foot on that campus. If I didn't get paid. But you might as well finish, man. Oh, yeah, I'm going to finish. So I'm, I'm going to get paid the whole time until I'm done, too. And I won't have to pay for the school, and, and I can get a degree. And then, because you don't need this shit for supply chain, you yeah. just have to know how to move things around and talk to people. That's literally all you have to know how to do. If you can get good relationships and you know how uh, uh, to problem solve, because you have to do a lot of shit on the fly, you're good. And go buy the book. <laughs> we don't do that around. No, no. <laughs> Should have seen the look that Brandon gave. He was real concerned when he wink said back. that. He's wink a big on. procedures guy. <laughs> Beast move is. I just thought that, that wink was going to be like. <laughs> oh, we got some other big news, JJ. What else we, we got, do? dude? What's happening in May? Uh, May tenth. Oh, 10th. May tenth, dude. This is huge. Hold on. Drum We're roll. Having... Do you got a drum roll sound? I think he does. I could try a beat. Try. Dr- okay. No, that's that's right. Yeah. We'll I could do it like this. Oh, I can do did it did it did it real quick. No, we got it. Okay. That's, that's All right. <laughs> Guys, May 10th, we're doing our first ever live podcast recording at Shenanigans in the big main room. Right? Main room. Hell big yeah. room. On a Friday. On a Friday. Yeah. It's called Killer Clown. Killer Clown. We're going to have mm-hmm. audience participation, bucket spots come out. It'll be a good time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're going to have a lot of things that you can do. We're, we're going to throw some skits on the big screen, too. Yeah. It's going to be a whole show. Like, we're going to do it. We're gonna do it right. As soon as we, as soon as those lights go down, it's gonna be a fucking show on that stage. And we're gonna, like he said, have audience participation. You come up there, do stand up. And if it's your first time ever, and you're not really stand up, you come up there for a couple minutes, and then we interview you. And at the end, what do they get to do? What was it? The yeah. <laughs> You know, oh, you're pie mem- in the face. Yeah, yeah. Oh, pie, pie in the, in the face. face. And I think it would be a good idea. What would they look at us and be like? They could pick whoever they want. Yeah, yeah. They pick. You pick whichever one of us you want. You pick any of us. You smash us in the face with the pie. Smash. Not too hard. Now let's not get rowdy with it. Because hit Dom as hard as you can. Please, please don't. Yeah. Please don't. But please come out. Yeah. Come out. Support it. If you support the CCP, yeah, yeah. you will be there, dude. Hell Clown yeah. College Productions. We are in no way affiliated with the Chinese Communist Party. No. Yeah, I don't even no. know about that. I don't even like the Chinese. <laughs> but uh, yeah. <laughs> Whoa, Brandon, hey, keep man, going, Brandon, Brandon. Brandon. No, no, go uh, back. Uh, what were you gonna say, man? <laughs> I was gonna say on the bright side, man. You, you get the fro, you get the fro pie at us, and then we'll eat some pie because, dude, man, we get some more pie and eat. Why? <laughs> Because, dude, we're not going to waste good pie. Like, we're going to buy a couple of them. I'm not going to sit there no, and watch it's going to be cream. Oh. A cream pie. I know, but we're going to get another cream no. pie for me to eat. Because, like, <laughs> where, where are we going to get this cream pie at? Where do you want the cream pie to be from? Probably, uh, you go to Publix or Kroger. Do you want a white lady or a black lady? Okay, now we're getting there. Okay, so, you know, I I am, I can't I can't answer that. I'm taking it. Yeah. Go white. I'm okay. taking right now. You said to a white. I said I'm taking, but if I, I mean, if I was, if it's, I, if I wouldn't, have, if it was anybody, I don't. Is somebody it. cream pie? You or you want to eat the cream pie? Wait, what? What cream pie? What? 
Wait, no, but, but hold on. I got to clarify. I got to clarify real quick. Brandon don't discriminate. <laughs> the reason I said white is he because... He doesn't, man. The reason I and said, that's important yeah. that he said that. Because the reason You're I... You're laughing. We let me, let me taking you this more serious. Yes. The reason I said white is because my fiance is white right now. But by, if, I, if I was, like, years ago, like, friends, I'm like, then, 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 cut that part. <laughs> you heard it here because first, that, I'm, I'm trying to White say, lives matter. <laughs> let's go, Brandon. Yeah, dude. No, well, I'm trying to say, it like, if part. it was like that, then it would be anybody, man. I like every... Because, dude, especially when I... Man, I yeah, like anybody, everything. Anybody, dude. He likes anybody. Not anybody. Not, 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 not just any anybody. Like, I like anybody as a friend, but not, not talking about, like, like when you're talking about doing some shit, like, a, <laughs> doing clapping chi on. What the... Clapping chi, dude. I can't, I, I'm digging a deep hole here. Yeah, we're just talking about cream pies. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, cream pie pies. <laughs> Right. Cream pie pies, dude. Are you like talking a about ten with some whipped cream? He in said, it, but in that in that whole thing that he just said, he said he said maybe years ago when I was three. <laughs> when did you say that? He said. Did he say I, it? I did. I think I did. I did. I <laughs> did. Know. I did. He one hundred percent said. I did. He was like, I don't discriminate. You know, I, I say white because it's my fiance. But years ago when I was three, uh, uh cut that. <laughs> I was like, hold on, wait a minute. Reformed racist. <laughs> no, I, I was saying years ago when I was real young. I, I when I was when Brandon, Brandon was single, he didn't he didn't care. He okay. didn't describe, That's what I'm trying okay. to say. Bottom line, mm-hmm. you know, my mouth stumbles upon me. It's like it's like I'm tripping and shit. I'm trying to say that. I'm just I'm just clarifying that part too. I was I was stumbling my words here, trying to climb my way to the top and. We just built ourselves a deeper hole. We have more questions than answers. Yes. Way point, more. Dude. I can't <laughs> wait to. <laughs> oh, Brandon. <laughs> I can't wait to watch this back. <laughs> Cipher through. What did you say? Oh, man. I'm going to try to put captions under it. Yeah. I don't even that know. That was a whole oh, stumble. No, I, I, ugh, I was falling. We watched a man spiral. <laughs> you, you saw me falling and trying to get up. I was too. The road and everything. <laughs> it was bad. Oh shit. <laughs> we back though. We back. We here. We hey, never left. Dude. Never no, left. we never left. But we did fall for a second. Yeah. Fall boy. What, what happens when you fall? You get back up. Tell him, Brandon. You know what Rocky's about. Mm-hmm. If you get knocked Rocky down seven left. times, how many times do you get up, Brandon? <sighs> Man. Depends how fucked up you no, I'm just <laughs> fuck that. You get back up. Yeah. How many times, how many times? dude? Well, until uh, you know, like if you were down there, you like, bro. But I a can't. number, a number wise, how many times? A numerical value. It depends what's going if on. If you get I, knocked down <laughs> seven times. Okay, so honestly, I would say get back up. But if you down and you can't get back up, then you just fuck that. Like if you how, how many times? How many do you times get back do you up? get back up? How many? Okay, so probably. Wait, so you, so you wait? Are you asking me a question, or are you saying? Are you saying I'm? What I thought you were asking? We no. are asking you a question. Oh, man. dude, what I thought you were asking me was me personally. I thought you were like Brandon. How many times would you get up? I'm like, I don't know. I'm not. I was. I, I don't know. It depends how many times you get in. Brandon, I, mean, I think you should get back up. But if you if your legs broke, how something? many times? Okay, so oh, you said seven times. Seven times. <laughs> If it's a riddle or something, seven <laughs> times. <laughs> Brandon, Brandon thinks all questions are riddles. Yes, because of what y'all did in shenanigans. You remember we were shenanigans on like every Shenan- riddle? I got fucked up in those <laughs> riddles, man. That was crazy. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. my God, Brandon. Uh, yeah. Were, were you there, JJ? <laughs> I don't Riddles. You were there? You were there. For we, what? We yeah. were just t- saying riddles outside of shenanigans one day. Yeah, they oh, were getting me, man. That was bad. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you were out there. It was rough. Riddles and shit and yeah. such. I, I'm trying to think. Do I got any riddles off the dome? Oh, man. And riddles sounds like a bad word for some reason. <laughs> the riddles. Riddle. Riddles. Rhymes with diddle. It does. That's why. Yeah. That wasn't where my mind went with it. <laughs> so you say you got a riddle? I'm t- yeah. yeah, let's take a one. I'm um, trying to think of a riddle. I don't know any. Um, Shit. I got one for you. What are you thinking? All right, Brandon. All right. So you're the bus driver, right? You pick up 10 people in Mexico. Got that? Mm -hmm. You go to California, pick up 25 people. Then you drive back down to Texas and drop off 16 people. What color are the bus driver's eyes? Brown. Why? 
because they uh, because uh. I mean, you're right. Yeah, cause they, yeah it's brown. Yeah, because, you are right. Because they're buying the bus Mexican? I don't know. Is that it? That could be it. Was that That's it? what I was thinking. Was that it? Because they're buying the bus Mexican? Do you know You know why the color of the eyes are brown? Mm-mm. You don't? Uh-uh. All right. I'll tell it to you then. Okay? I said it. you're the bus driver. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. But you got it right, not... Yeah, brown eyes. You're the bus driver. Uh, is it because it's like a, you see a bunch of everybody you're the bus driver. driver because <laughs> yeah. I'm oh because I'm brown, right? Is that what, what the fuck? I don't know. What the fuck? Just you have brown eyes. Oh boy, I don't know. know what the fuck. All right, all right. I got um, one for y'all. I got okay, one okay, for okay. y'all. All right. So there's a guy. Mm-hmm. His dad dies. Yep. And then he gets into a car accident, mm-hmm. and they take him to the hospital. And the surgeon's about to operate on him, but he's like, I can't do that. That's my son. Mm-hmm. How is that possible? I know the answer, but I want to Wait, answer. wait. Say it one more okay. time. One more time. I don't know if I said the riddle correctly, but uh, there's, a, there's a guy. Okay. His dad dies. Then the guy gets into a car wreck, and he goes to the hospital. He has to have surgery, and the surgeon is like, I can't perform surgery on him. That's my son. Yeah. Hmm. So, so uh, somebody died. You got that part. Man, somebody okay. did die. So it wasn't. It wasn't the. Uh, it wasn't. The, it wasn't the dad. Did the dad like? Was, was, did the son die and the dad killed the son or something? <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's it. Yep. Damn. What a coincidence, man. Look at I've been practicing. Yeah. No, nah, the surgeon was his mom. <laughs> oh, fuck, yeah, yeah. for real? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're rare for on the day, bro. <laughs> You're rare He's for. He's geeking, bro. <laughs> Dude, oh. oh, shit. I really believed it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's all for us. Mm. All right, who do we got on the day? We have uh, a yeah. famous celebrity yeah. on the a For social real? media sensation. Star. Mm-hmm. Teen pop sensation. Matthew Lumbra. Yeah. Lumbra. Yeah. You can see him in a, in a movie on Free V. No. Or a Tubi. Yeah, <laughs> so we'll get into that What's later. it called? Whatever it's called, put it up right yeah. now. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. forgot what it's called. What was it called? No Man's Law. We're going to no wait to put it up. Law. Yeah, okay. No Man's Law. Yeah. Say, so wait to put it up or put it up now? We're going to put it up because we put it up. <laughs> we pulled it up whenever he was on here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we shot this one out of order, guys. I mean, okay. you'll notice that by JJ's going to have a full mullet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Actually, let me flex and... And then my mullet just reappears, dude. Let's see if I can figure that one out. Super sad. <laughs> All right, y'all. Thanks. See you, man. All right. This week's featured comedian. Hey, does anybody know the old man over there? And, like, why is he smiling at a funeral? Who does that? Well, you know, it's going to suck, you know, because I'm going to live so much longer than you. What? No, you aren't. Oh, yes, I am. I'm going to be right there at your funeral. What are you talking about? I'm so much healthier than you. Dude, no, you are not. Okay, fine. You want to make a bet? Yeah, I'm down. First one to die is gay. Okay, deal. You're so gay. (laughs) Look at him out there, finally helping around the house. What is he doing? Is he taking two trips? Oh no. Oh no. It's okay, you know. I like those two guys from Modern Family. You know, they seem fine. I mean, maybe this is my fault. Maybe I should have played catch with him, you know? Maybe I should have thrown the ball with him more often. But now he's catching other balls. And let it out. <clears throat> Guys, it's late, dude. Yeah. We're recording this one late. It's like at least 4 p.m. <laughs> That's how you know you was raised by your grandparent. I'm tired of shit. <laughs> That's why. We already ate dinner. I'm ready to go to bed, man. We can't go to bed yet? No? No, not yet, dude. Oh, we got somebody special in the podcast today, right? Yes, we do. Special in more ways than one. Exactly. We got a great guy on the podcast <laughs> today. Teen social media sensation. Superstar. Mm-hmm. Matthew Lumber, everybody. Hey! Yeah.
appreciate it. Hell appreciate yeah, it. man. We just whooped his ass on UFC. Oh, oh, yeah. I'm like, okay. Yeah. Bringing a train on him, dude. Sorry, Grimace. <laughs> you, are, you are a social media sensation. No, that's not. <laughs> no, no, no. You wouldn't say sensation that? Sensation is crazy. No, I don't make enough money. To, it, but to, you make some money. I make some money. That's all, that yeah, means that's you're a sensation, sensation in the yeah. social media realm. For sensation sure. Professional. Yeah. Uh-huh. No, 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 no. See, because you can, you can like have like ten thousand followers mm-hmm. and make way more money than I do. How's that? Um, we're in, like, we're in college. We need you to teach us. Okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. Let me, let me, yeah. This let me, is clown college. Let me, clown college. Let me tell me some game to y'all. Uh-huh. So on TikTok, if you have ten thousand followers, mm-hmm. then you can get into the um, TikTok Creative Beta program. And when you post the video over a minute long, mm-hmm. for every thousand views, you get a dollar. Oh. So let's say your video gets um, like a million views. Mm-hmm. That's a thousand bucks, right there. Oh shit! Right there, like okay. And all my skits be like short, mm-hmm. so I don't make that much money. But I also have a second account where I like put them all into like compilations and I post it on there to make more money. Oh so okay. Yeah. Do you link it to your first account? I just have yeah, like kind of like just yeah. sell it. Tell you this is my main account right yeah. now. Yeah, I like in my bio, just mm-hmm. put it to back up. But yeah, there's people who like ten thousand followers and they make bank. Damn. Like y'all heard um that girl talking about uh, who did I marry on TikTok? Hmm? Oh yeah, she I, she did a whole fifty part series. Yeah. And just doing the math, it was like oh she cleared a mil. Th- for what? For all that shit. Shut the fuck up. A million no. dollars? Dang. Yeah. Mm- most likely. I don't even know who pull, you're talking about. Pull, pull it up, Brandon. Uh, what, did, what did she make? A 50-part series? What's it called again? So, i seen it on Twitter. She put it on there, too. So, apparently, this woman, bought, um, she married a guy during COVID. Mm-hmm. And during that time, he was like a sociopath. So, he lied about everything. Who so, did I marry? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, who did I marry? Okay. Oh, and, it's like a true crime documentary. No, 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 no. I don't think there was a crime. No. I, 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 to the I haven't listened to it either. Yeah, I haven't listened to it but, either. Because uh, it's so fucking long, and I didn't it's care like, that it's much. It's 50 parts, and the dumb bitches be like 10 minutes long each yeah. part. You said it's on TikTok? Yeah. Okay, we're going to say TikTok. And her husband was a sociopath. Yeah, she so, married him during COVID? Yeah, yeah she married him during COVID, and then slowly she like figured out like he was lying about everything. So then apparently she's talking. I don't really know. I didn't watch the story, but that's mm-hmm. what I've heard. But yeah. yeah, she she's cleared a mill. Dude, I would Damn. love to see the demographics on that view on the viewership of those videos. No, I think it's yeah. all over. Like it, it went like super. It has to yeah, be a it's, good story. It, yeah, yeah, to get that. It, this this is her. It's I've her, seen. I know, I'm just I'm just saying, dude. Like this is. Oh, it's all this, women. Girls love this shit. Oh yeah, yeah, oh, dude. Dude, yeah. you got to be a sociopath to marry that. That's fucking. Sucks. Yes. Oh, yeah. God, I'm sorry. Damn. That's the female version of Brandon. Right there. <laughs> no, 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 no. Female Brandon, good, bro. Female oh, Brandon is not br- good. No, he said female Brandon, Brandon be fine, huh? Hell, fucking yeah. You know that? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, well, you don't know what the dude look like. You what? know what I'm saying? Huh? He could be ugly as fuck. What if it was Dante? Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like that. That make that yeah, would yeah, make yeah. sense. Yeah. Yeah. No, but she's 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 clear to mill. Like she's good. That's she's insane. Sad. And she has like three million followers on TikTok now. So now she has a. But base. before that, does she have a lot of followers? I don't think so. I don't think so. Hold on. What what happened? What's she doing? I think I think she just hit the door. Oh okay. Uh oh. <laughs> You are. <laughs> She's making a weird noise, dude. Oh. <laughs> my bad, man. I'm watching. I'm watching my friend's dog, Aldrin. Is she all right? Uh, Aldrin, come here. Come here. Come here. She That's she'll be all right. She just she do that. She's old. But uh, um. For real? Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, damn, how old is she? Like thirteen. Damn, damn, I thought she was two. <laughs> what? That's right. Brandon, you, I told him 12 or 13 early. Yeah. <laughs> when you first got here, dude. <laughs> Tripping. But Jake like, did the weirdest fucking thing. He was like, oh, you're groomed very nicely. Nice hair. How are your teeth? And like lifted up the dog's mouth and looked at the teeth. I'm like, this dude. You know he's great. He's oh, insane. You know he's great. Jake's dope, right. though. Jake's dope. So, so back to this. So did, did she have a lot of followers or do you know before? I don't think so. But I mean, you have a fifty-part series. Mm-hmm. Each each video averages around five million views. All videos are above ten minutes long. Oh my god! You're gonna gain three million followers if if you're getting that much. Like, and she's reposted the same videos again 
So like, yeah, she's easy. And then still, you get paid for those like they're new. Yeah, yeah. Holy wow. shit! What about uh, the other uh, platforms? Uh, Instagram and Facebook have been my two best now. Okay. TikTok kind of sucks, but the you... editing software on there is really fucking good. So I edit everything on TikTok. I mm-hmm. post it on TikTok, and then I take it from TikTok and I put it on everything. Else. Okay, that's what I always see people yeah. on Twitter. That's how I see TikTok because I don't have it. It's through Twitter. Everybody has like makes their videos on there. But TikTok is like, I mean. Instagram means way more than TikTok does. Like there, you could find people that have a million view, a million followers on TikTok, mm-hmm. but have ten thousand followers on Instagram. Now, why is that? Why do you think that is? It doesn't really transfer uh-huh. because, like, your followers on TikTok don't mean anywhere close to as much as Instagram. And the biggest thing is YouTube. Mm-hmm. Like, like if you have a bunch of subscribers on there, then you're you're set. That's but, like that's the hardest to get, but yeah. it pays off the most. But like. Yeah, yeah, it definitely pays off like way more. I think it's like five dollars per thousand views. So that's a wow. huge difference. Yeah. Between like everything else. Do they have to watch for a certain amount of time? They have to watch on TikTok. They have to watch for five seconds. Okay. They have to work. Yeah, they have to watch for five seconds for it to be eligible. I'm not really sure on YouTube. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure it's just views though. Okay. I don't think it matters how much you watch it. But I mean, obviously, the more they watch, the better the. They'll put you in the algorithm, yeah. right? Type shit. <laughs> <laughs> shit, I'm interested in this because I suck at social media and I hate it. Like I don't, I don't, I'm not, I don't particularly like uh, social media, but yeah. I know I have to do it to, you know, yeah, further you any to. career I want in stand up or anything like Sound that. Sound like an old head, dude. <laughs> I know, but I this I, is the wave, man. I like Twitter though, but I know you can't do shit on Twitter. They don't get Twitter will eat you alive, and that's why I love them. YouTube leaves the meanest comments for me. No, <laughs> no, my shorts. bro. Have y'all been on on Instagram Reels? Uh uh-uh. uh. Well, they just <laughs> they'll leave crazy comments. No, dude, that shit <laughs> is fucking leave. crazy. Like anybody, you can't post anything on there without people trying to rip your head off. Like my shit's fine, uh-huh. but like if you post a disabled person on there, it's over. It's over. It's ruthless. Like, man. It's, oh, it's they worse go. than Twitter. Damn, I'm telling you, it's worse than Twitter. I'm gonna check this real. Like out. if they don't Instagram fuck with you, crazy. if they don't fuck with you, you're getting like sworn by hate. Have Damn. you seen the dude on Instagram, Davis Clark or Clark Davis or whatever? He's just a regular ass white dude that posts like the motivational type videos. It's kind of cringe. Clark mm-hmm. Davis. But dude, he's blown up on Instagram, and people are either like love this dude or just leave the most heinous comments of all time on mm. his post. It's insane. What does he do though? What do you say he does? He just he just records like four or five videos a day of him being What's his like, name "Hey again? guys, you know, okay. let's get at it today. Oh, we're about to kill this shit." Okay, motivational guys. But he's not motivational at all. He's like the most <laughs> mundane dude. Clark Davis. He's the most generic looking guy ever. <laughs> He What's has no name? energy. It's Davis Clark or Clark oh, Davis. Or something. Davis Clark. <laughs> Clark Davis. You want them to see your location? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> right, so you said <laughs> Davis Clark? All right. I don't have TikTok. That's why. This I is, is, no, you got on Instagram. It. It's pretty uh, good. No, I say Instagram's the best Davis now. Davis Clark? Instagram. TikTok used so, to be the best. So where is Reels at on, the, on Instagram? There's a whole section yeah, at there's the a bottom. Whole, there's a whole section. Uh and yeah. so, like people, like if I'm following people, that's who's reels I'm gonna see. Uh, not always. You see, random. It's, a, it's more oh, random. Okay. Oh, more okay, random. okay, okay. Your feed is still whoever you follow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This yeah, week, featured like fucking comedian up because they got a TikTok shop now, so they oh, just man. they just it's just sponsored video, sponsored video, sponsored mm-hmm. video. That shit's fucking annoying. And you just yeah. do you ever pay for um no no, no? no. how'd you no. break the algorithm? Oh, I've been doing it for three years, dude. And but, like I used to post three times a day. Then I dropped down to two times a day. Mm-hmm. So that's three times, 365 days. Like, it's just pure, like, just grinding. No, oh, okay. And just, like, constantly putting out shit that, like, whether it hits or it doesn't, you just keep doing it. Now but you I, just keep on putting out three a day, every day. Yeah, now I'm, now I'm at one a day. Okay. I've, like, slowly slowed down because, I mean, fucking life and shit. Uh-huh. I'm not in, like, high school anymore. Yeah. I got a fucking job and <laughs> fucking rent to pay. <laughs> Over there. I ain't going to say where you live. But in the good part of town. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I see you. I'm sorry, you, man. I tried to join in the conversation, but the dog's licking my inner thighs <laughs> under the table, dude. <laughs> oh, let me put it outside. Come here, Audrey. Come here. Come here. She's like, I don't want to go. 
That's how that's how Tinkerbell is. My dog, man. She was you have it. I thought your dog's name was Max. No, I got Max. Then you got Tinkerbell. We had Charlie. Rest in peace. He died on Christmas. Oh, damn, damn. On Christmas? Man. I know. Or the day before Christmas, actually. Christmas Eve. It's the worst yeah, present, dude. I know, yeah. man. You wake but up on Christmas how old morning was and your dog is dead. Dude, man. I kid you not. He's like 20. He was at least 21. Okay, that's like, a fucking lie. I was literally that's running from this dude in like almost in dog diapers. years? No, I'm talking about people years. Like 20? He was 21. What kind of dog was it? A York, he was the same dog as that. Yorkshire Terrier. Oh. They do live a long mm-hmm. ass time. Like I but was terrified of him as a kid. And then when I got older, we just, we just became best friends. Kind of like Jake's cat. Yeah. Squeaks. Yeah, but it took like at least five or eight years for me to. Damn. Yeah. <clears throat> because they were like, they were like, yo, if you don't take five you this dog. Or eight. Yeah, five. <laughs> they're like, if you, don't, if you don't take this dog, we're going to take it to the pound. So I said, fine, whatever. Uh, you didn't like, want to let it go to the pound because no, you're I a would. good guy. Yep. And I feel like other dogs and animals recognize that. And that's something I accomplished like on Skyrim. I've been learning this. With, <laughs> I've been learning this with Jake. You accomplished it. What? What do you. Oh, what? You learned this on Skyrim? No, I'm saying, Are you, you being know. Groomed, let me dude? tell you. Let me tell you. No, <laughs> what I'm saying is I, I was. I was <laughs> <laughs> it was metaphorical. Yeah, yeah. So I was saying, I was like, I guess the animals recognize. They're like, man, this dude saving does the dog's lives, man. I got to fuck with him. I don't know. Is that what they do on Skyrim? <laughs> yeah, if you do some shit, yeah, they'll remember you. Uh Y'all play these games? I don't think I, that. I, I'm, I'm new. I don't learning. think that's exactly how it is. I'm learning, <laughs> Nah, man. Brandon, that's right. Yeah, I'm learning. <laughs> but me and Brandon were playing Skyrim, though, at yeah, Jake's apartment. Uh-huh. Yeah. We killed a, a dragon or something. Ooh. It was dope as shit. Did you oh, ever play yeah. Skyrim? I never played Skyrim. Uh, we played sports games, right? Like, real <laughs> yeah. Come on, give me some. Come on. Talk uh, to what me. the hell are they talking about? <laughs> All this, all this, all this, all this, all this fantasy bullshit. Yeah, right. I'm trying. No, no, I played Assassin's Creed. Assassin's Creed is dope. That's yeah, good. Yeah. But that's like, like, like real. Like you're fighting real people with yourself, mm-hmm. not like fighting fucking giant ass monsters. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What about I mafia? play God of War though? Huh? What about Mafia? Oh, dude, fucking Mafia. You love hard. Mafia? Dude, Which one? Mafia What's your favorite? All of them. All favorite of them? is two. Me too. That's but three said. was really good too. Okay, because he told me I need to get Mafia. Like, it's real good. No, it, no it actually, it's really good. Cause I, I, Joey Ma- Diaz is in the third one. Oh, yeah. is he? Yeah. yeah. What the fuck? Doc Suckers. <laughs> I think you kill him. Yeah, I think we kill, oh, you no, kill Joey. I can't kill Joey. <laughs> yeah. Shot that fat fuck. No, I'm That's like a GTA style. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude, except you in, like, yeah. the 40s. Oh, okay. First uh-huh. one, you yeah. in the 30s. The story The story is really good. I love this game. Okay. I just bought Cyberpunk because Justin Letlow was talking about it on the podcast i bought it i got about like two hours in i'm like i think i'm done yeah no <laughs> I, I never, was it like never too complicated it. no what? it's just a lot of stuff you got to do before you get to shoot people yeah true that is and i just kind of want to shoot people yeah i understand right? yeah but that's I like a story I'll, based game yeah but the story you have to do too much to get to and uh, maybe not the story has to, to have murder in it yeah. yeah. Oh, storage gun. Yeah. Have yeah. Dude. But like, it needs to be like off the bat. I yeah. Be killing people. Uh, right. Or I'm a. I'm a At least in the first, like, if I'm on there for three hours and I only do like one fight scene, you know what Fuck I'm saying? That. I don't like that. Yeah, but here's my thing. Like, if you buy like Call of Duty, who plays the campaign on Call of Duty? I Me. Don't. No, Brandon, I I play the campaign. That's you crazy. do that's how, yeah, I mean, I stopped buying you, the Call of Duties. I just never fuck with Call of Duty. Uh, like, it's like, you don't you don't fuck with it at all. Now my best, my favorite shooter game is Fortnite. Fortnite. Oh yeah, you you are that's one of those. Crazy, yeah, dude. building shit. Nah. Oh no, dude, I fuck yeah. You build it up. Oh yeah. Yeah, I I'm not good. I I I, don't, I played it like twice. I just don't like the fact that like if you see me first, I'm dead. In Call of Duty. That's why I don't fuck with it. Yeah. I mean, not really. That's why you use cover. I mean, it's like real. You if you're walking out in the middle of the street, yeah, somebody sees you. They're gonna yeah, fight I'm not, your shit I'm up. I'm not trying to just like sit back and then shoot people. You I'm, don't. I'm trying to run around and fuck people. You just up. use cover. It, does, it doesn't mean you have to sit behind. So if we we're in this room, right? You gonna get behind this table? You know what I'm saying? Have you played and, Rainbow? Rainbow yes. Six Siege. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I watched my boy play it whenever. See, I would rather play that because then that's like. Okay, it's all strategy rather than like. I just want to run around and fucking kill people. Like, yeah, and people be mad lame in that game. Oh, in, so you don't siege. like the no, camping? In, well, also in siege, siege people be mad lame. Yeah, I don't yeah. play. I don't play Call of Duty unless I have like I got my boys, like my brother, uh, and then my other boys who play. When we start playing during the pandemic, we haven't played it in a long ass time. We start playing during the pandemic, but I'm a beast in in, in siege and COD, Warzone, Rebirth Island, fuck shit up. At least two. I never kills. played none of that, dude. That's good. We gotta get a uh we gotta get a clown college uh 
I'm gaming on. I, I have I have videos on like my YouTube account, which I don't promote at all. Mm. But I have videos on there because I don't know what we said, and I would chop it up. That's the first time I learned how to edit, and I would chop it up, and we would just do that. And sometimes You're posting it, gaming videos. Yeah, dude. dude, I got like a lot of them oh on there too. That's how I started yeah, that's too. That's good. But it's like just for it's Me like too. just for us because like only five people watch it. But it's just for us to uh, go back and look at the victories that we had, man. Fuck shit up, gang gang. <laughs> yeah, the good old days. <laughs> yeah. so, I played a lot of Counter Strike. Okay. Love CSGO. But that shit gave me a gambling addiction when I was like 15 years old, dude. Because in that game, there's all these skins for the weapons. And in real life, they're worth, like, some of them are worth like thousands what? of dollars in money. Yeah. You can yeah, sell them on a marketplace. Mm-hmm. And there used to be these websites you could go on and transfer them from your account to the website and you gamble with them. And the dude that ran this website, his name was Mick Skillet. He was a YouTuber. And. He made, like, millions of dollars doing this, but then they, like, made it... Steam changed their policy to, like, it nullified that. You couldn't do it anymore. Mm -hmm. He lost all his money, and he drove backwards down the highway in his McLaren and killed himself, but also killed, like, a mom and her daughter. What the fuck? Yeah. Jesus. We like to bring the comedy. Here yeah. Club, <laughs> I like a little darkness, though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I never heard nobody. Yeah. yeah. But I was like full on. I was 15, like at school on the computer gambling with like hundreds of dollars. Damn. That's wild. Yeah. So, what do you, how do you get your, uh, your skins off the game? And- oh, okay. So, like, you get the skins, you open up like a, they're called like cases or something like that. It's like one of those type shits. Mm. But it was extremely difficult to, like, you almost never got anything good. And sometimes they drop in the game. Like, there was a skin called the Dragon Lords for the Sniper. It's, like, the most famous CSGO skin. Like, some of them, like, and they have stickers on them and stuff. They can be worth, like, 100 grand. Oh, okay. And the knives were the That's most insane. expensive. Insane. You get like That's insane. Yeah. People nah. in Dubai, they'd buy them. Yeah, that's like true. like like $250,000 knife. Like virtual what? knife. This was like the original NFT, dude. Oh, okay. Yeah. God damn. Damn, that's insane. Somebody would pay two hundred fifty dollars yeah, for yeah. something that's fake. For like a f- It's fake. No, nah, and uh yeah. it's real to us, <laughs> <dumb>. <laughs> Yeah. That was my happiness back then. You know, then, in dude. GTA, they sell accounts like left and right. Like, I got a friend who will spend probably a couple hundred for like your GTA account. That's wild. Just to have all the points on online. I was like, oh shit. Like, mm. They have a whole market for that. People do the same thing in 2K. Yeah. People try to buy my account. <laughs> well, because you're that good. No, no well, I, <laughs> I am. I mean, I mean, I mean, <laughs> no, I just hit like a, a really high like rank in the game. Mm-hmm. Some motherfuckers were trying to like buy it so let's they can see. just walk let's, around. Let's with it. let's see what rank you got to. Oh, you started shit. publicly stream uh, streaming uh, on Twitch June of 2020. I guess. Yeah, and uh, for 2K. Well, I'd also like to mention this. We found out you were an actor, dude. Yeah. Yeah. No idea. Uh, you were an actor. Dude. You were yeah, Teen dude. Thug number three uh, in No Man's uh, Law, and you got uh, your ass beat. Let's but you that. did your own stunt. Yeah. Okay. I recommend you for that. So my friend, his dad is a lawyer. Uh huh. His lawyer friend, um, apparently shoots like these fucking like movies, and so he, they just asked if we want to be in it, and he paid us like two hundred bucks for like. Oh shit. I hey, mean, gig. if you look at me in it, it like literally took us like five minutes. Oh yeah, we're we're, we're gonna insert the video right here. No. Oh. <laughs> Or you can go watch it on Tubi in free V. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently, it's really racist. Is it? Really? So, so the whole thing is... <laughs> <laughs> what? That's what we like okay. to promote. Okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. The whole, the whole like, movie is about this like one white dude who like saves an immigrant child or something like okay. that. Okay. Like... And like we never it's watched it. Documentary about my family. <laughs> he he told us like he was like oh this is probably gonna be on like Netflix. This is gonna be like a like a big deal. And then like I still haven't watched it yet. But everybody who's watched it was like that's super racist. I can't believe you're on that. I'm <laughs> like, live oh, react to it right wait, now. Wait, what is it called? <laughs> it's called No Man's Law. No, Man's no Man's Law. And so that the dude yeah, that um the fucking star of it. Um, he owns the movie 
And apparently, so he's a lawyer, and he was doing this big profile case. Mm-hmm. And apparently, he told an interviewer that um, he'll give her like an inside scoop on the case if uh, they promote the movie. And then, like, you can't do that. And so, like, that went all over like the news. And I think he got in, like trouble, trouble. Oh shit! Yeah, uh, you're in there with some goddamn questionable characters dude i was like <laughs> i was like 17 and i was like 200 bucks for like five minutes okay you man. ain't lying i would have did the same yeah, thing mm-hmm. you could have dressed me up in slave clothes when oh. that <laughs> i don't know about that <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. probably do it now <laughs> <laughs> and not get paid just for <laughs> just for this <laughs> uh, that's a, it, it looks like a legit like when you yeah. look at it no, watch the trailer. Can you put? Right. Can you oh, pull up the trailer? Tra- oh, yeah. just, is there a trailer? Oh, just off the trailer, you're like, okay, buddy. Yeah, I'm yeah, excited it. about oh, this. Oh, wait. Oh, oh that's it. That's it, Brandon. Oh, wait, that's the whole movie. No, I found the trailer. I found the trailer. Okay. I'm excited. Let's see. Poverty Row. The fuck? <laughs> Enlarge it. Full screen. So he told us this would be on Netflix. Federal and state officials are on the lookout for an eight-year-old missing girl, allegedly kidnapped and potentially being trafficked by a former border patrol agent. <laughs> this is gonna be this is oh my god <laughs> <laughs> that's the guy that's the guy <laughs> oh I don't trust him apparently one of our we could film a better movie <laughs> guess what I'm saying I'm like dude I'll definitely do this right here for sure Easy. It's up for Dr. Kim. That guy had to get the ice in that uh, guy. Okay. <laughs> That'll be the day. Oh my gosh. The man. wrong is the wrong. And what's right is right. And what's right is right, and what's wrong is wrong. Or have we all forgotten that? This is like a Facebook comment section <laughs> turned into a movie, dude. <laughs> Somebody was like, you should make a movie. Yeah, I will make it. In, in theaters. theaters. In what the- fucking theaters? Did it, did it come out of theaters? Home theaters? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. He invited us to, like, the premiere. <laughs> I didn't go to that shit, dude. <laughs> Red carpet event. Where, where was the premiere? Oh, fuck. Like, no, I just saw the flyer and I just threw the shit in the trash. <laughs> That's crazy, man. That's, That's wild. wild. That is that get anybody can make you it. How many views dude, did that thing get? Oh, let's go back. You could pay you could pay no, a no, Nigerian no. <laughs> dude on Fiverr fifteen dollars and he would have edited a better movie than oh, that. Oh yeah. One thousand percent. There would have been explosions and oh, shit. Mm-hmm. It got three point eight K views. Okay. And how many likes? Nineteen. Richard Jensen Criminal Defense. Yeah. Nice, dude. Oh. Okay. Oh yeah, he's a he's a shady. I could tell just by looking at him. He's a shady character. <laughs> Probably. This oh, guy yeah. has defended some guilty people. Dude. Oh yeah, some very guilty. But if he people. wants to pay me again, I'm down. Dude. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah if, he, if he I actually needs shit. help editing this shit, hit me up, yeah, guy. Dude, <laughs> I'll be the fucking cop. I'll be one of the cops, dude. <laughs> you look like a cop. I can be a cop. <laughs> How they were over that hood. Oh, which, that was perfect. Hey, thanks for that. What? That was a, that was a perfect trailer. That was a gem, that's like one of those horrible trailers you ever <laughs> no, see those. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah. And I was in it. <laughs> Is that nominated for anything, dude? Dude, <laughs> <laughs> nothing. Oh shit. So, uh, so w- what are we gonna ba- bet on Madden? <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. We said we we're gonna bet on UFC. Uh-huh. We were gonna bet on Madden. Yeah. We we're gonna bet on two K. Mm-hmm. Twenty dollars each. Okay. So. We won't exchange money after the games. Mm-hmm. And then Until you, the end. And then you could just send me 40 bucks. <laughs> At least 40. I may be 60. So you know, you know you're going to lose in madness, what you're saying. You already it, it depends on how. That. Yeah, I'm okay with it. But, like, you're losing. Why are you, why are you at it like that, dude? You're still going to lose two of the games. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know, man. We don't know. No, you're not going to beat me, dude. I'm way better <laughs> as. I'm way better than you at UFC. We just proved that. I had a shitty person. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But in 2K, uh, I'm way better than I am at at 2K than I am at US. I know you're a streamer. I was a streamer. I'm trying to get back into it, but it's just like time. Yeah. So what do you? How long would you stream for? Whenever you stream? Like two, three hours. That was the first thing I wanted to do. Like I started making 2K content. Um. Over. Like that was the first thing I did. Mm-hmm. And then fucking. 
just listen to Joe Rogan for years and I want to be a comedian. <laughs> That's... Hell yeah. So when did you do your first open mic, man? Um, I did it when I first turned 18. I had the video of it. It yeah. actually went pretty good. Really? Yeah. Yeah, your jokes are funny. Yeah. Every time you're up there, you got good jokes and you got good stage presence. See, everybody says, I don't fucking get it. That's the one thing I think I really need to work on. Well, you I mean, it's just going to get better when yeah. you keep on going up. But you're like base level... Uh, stage presence and uh, and your jokes are good, like legit good. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I'd say I officially started last month. Okay, it's the only time because like I would do it. I did it when I first turned eighteen. I did it like twice. I did it once. Did Where'd really you go? Good. I went to fuck. It was some some in Mad. It was one in Madison. Um, I did good the first time. And then I went up the second time, did bad, and I was like, I ain't doing this shit right now. Because I was, I was already doing the social media stuff, so I was like, I'm just not going to focus on this. Mm-hmm. And then I did it when I was 19. I did good the first time. Second time I did bad, and I was like, fuck this shit. I ain't doing it for a little bit. And then like now I'm starting to just, I'm just going to keep doing it. Yeah. You going tonight? Yeah. 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 Drop that three minutes on. <laughs> How long do you think you got right now? I I have a for sure four, mm-hmm. but I have a lot of jokes written that I think that'll work. I think if I if I took like like two weeks, I can get eight minutes that are like decent. Just because I've been doing like jokes every single mm-hmm. day, like three videos a day. Yeah, yeah. You just take from those videos and just yeah, put it in stand up form. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you 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 need to start doing those uh, new jokes too. Just pop them in after your old set. See, I haven't been doing my old set. I just do my new stuff every time. Mm-hmm. And that's why I keep fucking up because I need to do fucking. Yeah, you gotta my mix old, them both. Yeah. Man. Hell yeah, that's how you get. Because then you'll figure out, oh, I can say this one and then say this one after that, and mm-hmm. just keep on mixing it up. Because I got like these, I think I got like three, four, three new jokes. Some of them are one liners, but I think four new jokes. But then I'm trying to mix them in with my old shit and figure out how. Like right now, the biggest thing is getting this three minutes right. So. I'm trying to figure out what three minutes hits the hardest. I know which which one of my jokes hits the hardest, but you know how can I fit that in three minutes? And you can't sometimes like I used to lead in what are you? Uh, I'm single, you know that I'm single thing. Then I go into race play, but like tonight I'm not going to be. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, out of context, that's crazy. <laughs> they don't know you're saying. <laughs> I'm single and race play. Yeah, yeah. Like, and then the race play, you know. Yeah, yeah, you just it's essential, you, dude. gotta have the you gotta have that. It's hard to find. It's hard to find, Matthew. <laughs> it's a rare so commodity, dude. <laughs> I well, could probably hook you up with some people, dude. Do some commissions, <laughs> custom commissions. <laughs> How much time do you think, like, like, go up and do, and you're gonna be confident about it? I can do twelve. You can do twelve. I can do twelve, but I, I'll bring back a joke I don't like. A toxic masculinity. I don't really like it, but it works whenever I do it. And then um, maybe 10 because I have to take, I can only do one, the fat or the uh, the fuck weird. Mm. I can only do one of those jokes because I use the same tags in them. Mm. How much can you do? I could probably do about four hours. <laughs> think, four. You know, my legs will start hurting and then I'll go sit down. You know. <laughs> no, I could probably do, I'd do 15. Maybe yeah. not a super tight fifteen, but I could stand. Mm-hmm. I could do jokes for fifteen minutes. Yeah. And what y'all are like ten months in? Nah, about like, to be a year. Like, yeah. mm-hmm. well, my my, I did my first ever open mic like on, on Tuesday. It'll be a year ago, mm. but I didn't do another one for like three months after. Yeah, that. so I was. I and was then the that's same. when I started doing. Yeah, it for, like after just, I'm in this, I'm not gonna count anything before. I'm just gonna make February is when I started. Because yeah. when I'm like actually like taking it, like I'm gonna keep going mm-hmm. rather than just going up one off every year. Yeah, and then not go again. Yeah, but at least you got up there and did it. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. you don't like technically have to social media stars. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm just saying. Right. I know, I know right, I'm saying, dude. but no, no, I'm saying like you don't have to. But uh, it's good that you are. Because you, you got yeah. the jokes. You you got the jokes. You got the stage person. If you keep on doing it, you'll be good. Well, that's the whole reason I started the social media stuff is to do the stand-up. Because fucking, um, you guys know who Brandon Schaub is? Yeah. Yeah, yeah he fucking yep. sucks. Mm-hmm. But he sells tickets and he gets booked. Yeah. Because he has a social media following. So I was like, I can just get, I can at least just make money and make a living as long as I have like a social media presence. Oh, for sure. Yeah, and yeah. Like, and like, that's the thing that Schaub got caught up in. 
is that he got famous before he was good at stand up. Well, he's been doing it for ten years. He still sucks dick. He does. He, I mean, I will. I will say this. No, I watch. I watch Gringo Poppy. That's and shit is, look in the comments. Look, I'm not talking about what anything. I'm just talking about me watching it. It wasn't like it was the worst thing I've ever saw, but it wasn't. I thought he was. I was like, looks like somebody who. A two year comic trying to do thirty minutes this is what it looked like. Yeah, but he's like ten years. Yeah, now. I didn't realize he was that he was in there for that long. So I was trying to take up for you, Brandon. But uh, <laughs> no, but well, like, it's a, it's hard to say like he sucks. Like because who are we to say he's? I mean, we're talking about him on our podcast. Like this is yeah. a well known comedian. Yeah. He might not be great in terms of like seeing other professional comedians. But I mean, he was a UFC ass, fighter. True. You have to have discipline, ass. hard work to do that. And that's why he's. That's he might not be good at comedy, but I mean, he sells tickets. Exactly. That's money. what I, I told Jake. I'm like, uh, it doesn't matter. People always think when you're in like the comedy scene, who's the funniest? That doesn't matter. I mean, it's gonna funny always matters. But if you if you got the funniest person who doesn't want to do shit and doesn't take any initiative and doesn't do anything, they're just a funny person there. Because people people will book them and people will try, but then that personality, that trait is always going to come out. You like, oh, I got him on this show. They flake out of shows or stuff like that. Yeah. Doesn't matter how funny he is, you can't work with him. Just like a player in NFL, they can't. The best ability is availability. So you can yeah. be the best left tackle ever uh, to play in the NFL, but you ain't, if you ain't healthy, what the fuck are you good for? So it's you gotta you gotta en- encompass all that shit. I mean, yeah, I'm not saying he's a fucking loser. Like, yeah, obviously he's super successful. He's done like insane shit. To be a top no, 10 he's heavyweight, not good. he's not somebody I would watch. Yeah, for, no, no, stand up. He's just sure. he's just like he's just not good. Yeah, like he's just yeah. some people have it and some people don't, and mm-hmm. I just don't think that's like in his wheelhouse. Yeah, but, but he, like I used to watch him on his podcast. He's what, funny talking. Yeah, but it's just like it's it's two know, different dude. types of funny. You I didn't. don't know if he's funny at all. <laughs> I know I was just taking up for him a second ago. I just respect his worth of ethic. I don't yeah. like his No, no, yeah, he works his ass off. Like, mm-hmm. It's just his... <laughs> he has such a bad reputation. He's always in some drama with somebody. And he's oh, trying with Bobby to start Lee? Beef. Like, why start beef with him? Yeah. You know, why? Over some 4chan like, or some shit like that? It was that? Reddit. That Reddit? He was saying that, well, it's like... He gets bullied. Like, Brennan Child, like, mm-hmm. the internet hates him. Yeah, yeah, I see that all the time. Which people shit on him. Deserves yeah. <laughs> like apparently he does a lot of fucked up shit. I can see. I mean, he's a he's a fuck boy. You know what I'm saying? He's yeah. who he is. Yeah, yeah. Nothing wrong with it. But, I just don't uh, fuck with it. Everybody <laughs> knows a guy like this. Everybody yeah. knows. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I think that's the problem because nobody likes that guy. Yeah. Yeah. But like you said, I, I w- on like you said, uh, Matthew, on, on his podcast, I would like a uh, king in this thing. I love that. Oh yeah! Whenever they had it with yeah. him and Theo Vaughn, yeah, loved a- it. everybody else carried but you know that why? podcast. Yeah, you know why? Because of Theo Vaughn, he's yeah, making fun of him. Yeah. But that's but that was a, a dynamic that I liked more than like you know when you're watching Theo's podcast, which is good alone. I like when he has Brandon the shit on. Yeah, because you know what I mean? because it's like it's like he can't really go super hard on Brent on that because he's fucking a top ten heavyweight. Yeah. In the US. <laughs> it is so a he funny can't, dynamic. Can't, I yeah. see what you're saying. Yeah. yeah. It's not like him just beating on somebody. It's that, a, like, of mice and men yeah. type situation. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's the muscle, dude. And if Theo Vaughn's the brains, dude, it's not a good yeah. operation. <laughs> dude. dude, Theo had uh, this guy who was on there. Do you watch his podcast ever? Once in a while. He had one of near-death experiences. Mm. And he like studies them. So he's like a real doctor, but he studies them. And he's like, like 4,000 people that he studied. And uh, he said they all say the same thing. Like you get pulled into this like heavenly place from different parts of the world too. pulled into like this heavenly place. And then everybody up there is telling you to go back. But the person wanted to stay. But once they come back, even people who try to kill themselves and shit were like, oh, I'm, I'm supposed to be here. And then they're like at peace after that shit. Isn't that crazy? So yeah. it's probably. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I, look, two things I, I I've seen documentaries on, I, and I liked. I know exactly what you're gonna say. What's the dude? other one? The children that have the memories of their past lives. Hmm. Come on, those that these is, little motherfuckers remember everything. <laughs> that is dude. rehearsed, dude. You that think is so? Totally it to rehearsed. Be. It has to be. It is 100. percent Like I'm not. I'm a pretty superstitious dude. I'll believe in a lot of stuff. Mm-hmm. That is not real, dude. Children are smarter than people give them credit for. Yeah. Some of these little motherfuckers be remembering very vivid details. I guarantee you my five-year-old Puerto Rican nephew could, like, convince you he had a past life as, like, a fighter pilot or something. No. I bet I could give him – I'll have him on next week, dude. <laughs> <laughs> 
You would you you believe in any of that? Nah. Which one are you going for more? I don't know. Because I get like freaked out by that shit. Like you I don't do? even watch scary movies. Oh, you're one of those. Yeah. I, uh, uh, I get terrified, but I love to watch them, dude. Yeah, I love them. I love See, it. See, I just I just don't nah. fuck with being scared. I just get upset. You don't like it? Them. Nah. You get upset? They're going like a soul. I'm like, dude, you clearly could get the fuck out of there, but you just want to sit there. No, no, my mom owned this place. Get the fuck out. That is the other thing. All scary movies suck. Like, there are some yeah. truly well done horror. Yeah, movies. yeah, but Insidious? that's like there's like a twenty four. There's like maybe you like twenty four, dude. A twenty four. Hereditary. <laughs> there's like ten all time. Hereditary is a great movie. What's that about? Mm. Let me search that up. What's that about? It's a weird looking people. Yeah, there's only like weird looking ten people. good movies. I won't. I won't ten argue. I won't movies. argue because most scary movies. Because then you're just like terrible right, acting. Just yeah, yeah. <laughs> Have y'all seen that new Adam Sandler movie? No, but I want to. Is it, is it, is it, is it good? Ass. It's ass. it's ass. The space one. Yeah. I was so excited Dude, for that. it's a big spider that talks to him. It's what just like... Is it, have you ever seen Gravity? Nah. With Sandra Bullock and George Clooney? Actually, maybe. I think I, I think I might. You've seen that? Let's yeah. See. see, that was good. And it wasn't like... it was. Like, I'm guessing it's it's him tripping out in space. Yeah. Right? It, yeah, but it's it's it gets really weird. Mm. I don't fuck with it. Maybe some other people will fuck with it. But I don't fuck with it. Like, it's just like, it's a fucking giant spider that's just crawling around talking to him. Is it a comedy? I hate No, spiders, it's not dude. a comedy at all. Yeah. It's that. like super serious and it's just though. like. Oh, shit. Uh, man, Adam Sandler's uh, my boy, uh, too. Have them show the spider. Okay, yeah, let me search that. Uh, like space subway. Spider. What's it called? Uh, Spaceman? Yeah. Spaceman, yeah. Oh, hell. Ugh, no. Fuck that, dude. Yeah. That looked like that Skittles. Spider. No, bro. Remember you should that? hear his fucking oh, voice, though. His voice is insane. Yeah, yeah. That's the part it's that, like. Air gug. Huh? Y'all want to hear the voice? Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Y'all want to hear the voice? Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll watch it. I'm going to watch it. I'm still going to watch it. Yeah, I'll watch, watch it, too. Uh, I mean, yeah. hey. You know I'm, I like old school Sandler movies. Oh, like fuck. More yeah, like the Wedding Singer. But everybody likes those. Yeah, yeah. The new ones, I don't. I like the one that had Kevin Garnett, the uncut. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. that was a good movie. Yeah. I that wasn't that. a Sandler movie though. He was just playing in it. Oh, uh, well, yeah. I liked him in there. Yeah, yeah, that was a good. Or when he coaches the NBA player, the one that came out not too long ago. I didn't yeah. see that. You that's saw a good one. Is it good? That's a good. One. I've heard it it's really again? good. Huh? What was it called? Oh, the, I don't know. No, the, uh, the Mexican guy, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Juan he got like a cut right after yeah. it came out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but apparently they he won like the Euro League MVP or something like that. Okay, like he actually is like he's a baller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You you want to know? Uh, speaking of scary movies, uh, when I was younger, right, my big brother he's like seven years older than me, and Chucky I think Child's Play two or three had just came out, so we watched it. And I wasn't supposed to watch it, uh, sneaking in there, and I was like so scared. And we lived right by a cemetery, like literally here to the front of. Uh, like the other buildings right in front of this. So I'll say about a hundred yards away from a cemetery. And so he walked me, me down there, him and his friend. And he's walking down there and he was like, Oh, look over there. And they, and they, I looked over there and they hid behind the, the tombstones, but I didn't know. So I'm looking around and I'm screaming, trying to get out. And you know, cemeteries are hard to get out of. You know what I mean? So I'm screaming. I can't get out. I'm lost. But the whole time, they're like right there, but they don't tell me. And then I have to run back to the house. I'm going to scream. I tell my mom. He gets his ass. It was a a good time. (laughs) Are cemeteries hard to get out of? Yeah, Yeah, dude. Just pick one direction. No, bro. You get into a cemetery. It's... Especially when it's pitch black at night. (laughs) You live next to Arlington? I was like like six. How big is this cemetery? Huh? You live next to Arlington? No, dude. You've never been in a fucking cemetery before? Oh, dude. Love this cemetery. <laughs> Go every day. <laughs> dude, the roads are the roads are like it's yeah. not even really roads. If you take a wrong turn, you can't see outside. True. I used to live next to one. They had uh you remember you remember have you ever heard <laughs> of uh what is it, Dead Man's Playground? Dead Dead Child's dead Playground. Children's I heard playground. about yeah. that. I heard about it's that. It's about ghosts on uh what swings and stuff like that. Yeah, that's yeah, weird. No, yeah, my manager yeah. told me a story about how she went there with her husband like, mm-hmm. when they were in their twenties, and they used to just scare the fuck out of kids. Like they'd hide behind <laughs> oh, the tombstones shit. and like like wait for them to get comfortable, and then just yeah. start doing little kid voices and scare the fuck out of them. Oh well, yeah, that's so that was just right a dog fucking with us. Yeah, Dang. probably. Or when? So you said you went there and you heard it? Uh, I mean, yeah, I heard stories and shit. I went there once and there was some weird shit going on, but I never got to see the full action that everybody was telling me about it. Mm-hmm. Like, Brandon, man, don't go there at this time and shit. Because then some weird stuff going to happen. You might get pushed off a swing. You never know. 
So that's what happened. <laughs> I never really went because, dude, how I'm am I going to go into the cemetery? <laughs> yeah, it's not that bad. I can't just walk up in there. Yeah. And I can't walk from my house. I couldn't leave my house. Y'all, y'all got any ghost stories or anything supernatural mm. or something you got scared of? Nah. No? Nah? You believe in it? The ghosts and shit? Nah, but I don't fuck with it. Yeah, like, if it happens, like, I'm gone. Like, I'm yeah, not. Like, if, I'll believe it if I see it. If I see a ghost or something like that and I'm not, I'm not on, like, uh, some kind of psychedelic, yeah, I'll believe it then. Yeah. But I'm not believing just because somebody else said, oh, I've seen a ghost. And <laughs> oh, okay. But, like, going to dead children's playground at night, like, I ain't doing that yeah, shit. Oh, no, that. no, I wouldn't do that. Yeah, nah. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to set myself up for it. I'll go to haunted places, but not a dead, dead children. I didn't even know they had that dead children's playground. Yeah. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, cemetery is crazy. I don't know, man. I sure I believe it. Why not? Because mm-hmm. I feel like if I say I don't, then it's gonna happen to me, and then <laughs> it's just not gonna be fun after that. <laughs> so yeah, I believe. <laughs> don't haunt me, man. What you, Brandon? Well, me, you know. So see, I believe Christianity. So I'm like, ah, sure, I guess, yeah. I don't, a lot yeah. of ghosts in mm-hmm. the Bible. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I mean, me. I'm like, I haven't seen a ghost, but if I seen one, I wouldn't be like, oh the shit, Holy how ghost. the fuck is this happening? I'd be like, oh. It's, it's a ghost. Let me leave. What? So you gotta do it. Just if you yeah. see a ghost, so you just say get a ghost, the fuck out. Just like yeah, dude, no. If I see a ghost, I'm leaving. That's it. Just go. Right? What if you just bought? You He's just got, got this. Point, if you just got this apartment, you spent all your money on the down payment. You just got in there. Two weeks in, you see a ghost or whatever. You're just gonna move out. Yeah. So what happened? Yeah. You got the fucking life? money. I'll tell you what. I'd, I'd rather die. Than <laughs> <laughs> Unless I'm fucking paying rent, dude. I'm out. <laughs> Wait. So what? Like what happened before? Like, who did the previous owner die? I don't know. It's just haunted. Okay, because if the previous owner died or something, uh-huh. then hell yeah, I'm out there. But if it's like just a normal, a normal and he ghost. was chill, yeah. I mean, maybe I'll stay, but if some fucked up shit happens, that's it. If it was a chill ghost, you stay. Oh, if he chill and we me don't, too. yeah, if we don't do nothing, I'm shit, with pass me that ghost smoke. I don't care, man. We'll, we'll sit and smoke one. I don't know. <laughs> Till you do some fucked up shit like haunt me. That is some fucked up shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't be hunting people. Man, like, uh-uh. man, as soon as he pushed me down some stairs, I'm out. Crawling out. <laughs> I'm getting out. Escalated qu- quickly to be the cool one to push you down the stairs. Yeah. yeah. They do that shit, though. Oh, yeah. What made y'all want to start comedy? I've always loved comedy since I've been. But, like, what made you want to do it? Uh, my boy would just make, he, I told him, I was like, oh, I would love to do stand up. And then he kept on pressuring me and press. Well, he kept on saying, uh, you should do it. And then we went to kill Tony. I signed up and then happened to get on. So then, uh, after that, I came back here, went to shenanigans, did the open mic there. And I was like, this is tight, but I didn't come back for like a, t- a month and a half, two months. And then once I came back, that's when I met JJ and everybody. And they gave me all the open mics and I started, just started doing them. And that's just fucking, it's too fun. Yeah, it's nah. too fun. Plus, plus, I love fucking with people, and I get to do that on stage. Especially now that I'm starting to warm up a little bit and and just be free up there. I, it's nothing more than having somebody think of the, whatever you're saying is going this way, and then hit it fucking hard. Nah, it's turn. fun. That's fucking the shit. Because my juice is flowing. Nope. <laughs> Something's <laughs> got to. <laughs> Those platelets have got to unclot somehow, dude. <laughs> what made you uh, like start doing it? I always wanted to try it. And then I started doing it, and I was just having fun. And I just like meeting weird people. And comedy allows you to meet oh, some really dude. fucking weird people. Oh, yeah. So many people are weird. Like, <laughs> it's just it like the worst people from every single walk of life decide to do stand-up comedy. Yeah. And they just all meet in one place that you would otherwise never see that group of people ever like yeah. interacting at all uh-huh. and that's what i like about it dude it's just like the mall parkway place mall you go there you'll see like every type of person that huntsville has. oh to you'll offer. see like grown men with cat ears and cat tails shut like the fuck up. walking on all fours yeah dude you shut the, you shut up right now you seen that i seen that shit uah is a weird we're going man. too far <laughs> all right no, God dude, damn it. I'm accepting, but like that's fucking crazy. I'm accepting like, too. Is, but see, this is my whole thing. I'm trying to make a joke up like this. It's like that's your kink. That's something you do when you're if if that's what gets you off. You know what I'm saying? Why are you doing it around everybody? You know what I mean? Because maybe they're like, like you. They want to fuck with people. But, but here goes the thing. I like the fucking just a short t shirt and socks, but I'm not gonna go pick up my Starbucks like this. Yeah. You know what I mean? So they shouldn't be around walking on all fours because that gets their uh giblets going. 
I don't agree with it. Is it, are they doing it for a sexual thing? Though I don't give a fuck. It has to be sexual. You're putting cat ears and tails. I on. think it's just mental. But in ears. public, yeah, it, I don't know. It's de- oh, it's definitely oh yeah, mental. I don't dude. Know. If you want to be a cat, come on. Like, what do we do here? Come on, bro. You got to draw the line somewhere. I didn't sit in and agree. I was like, hey, dude, we went to I Low Mill know. and we saw like <laughs> just a pack of furries. Like Is there was pack? like twelve of them. I like, can't believe this. They're out in the wild. No, yeah, no, it's crazy. I haven't been back. They got to put got litter scared. boxes in school yeah, bathrooms now. Yeah, no, nah, that's like a legit thing. I don't believe that. I don't believe any. If any school does that, that, they should be disbarred. They shouldn't be able to. But to you do know, anything. You know those furry costumes like cost it, like three thousand dollars. Oh yeah, they're very pricey. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. So like this is a rich people problem. Yeah. Know, you paying three thousand dollars for an outfit like a. You can fuck hey, you don't yeah, get paid. If you're paying three thousand yeah, dollars, are they fucking for in them? It? Yeah, I'm pretty sure oh, they yeah, fucking yeah, in them. Yeah, they get down in those things. Uh, you said that really fast. No, it's just <laughs> I know about it. I knew I, I knew some people that were cool with that. I guess. So do they have like a hole cut out, or what, what got going on? Oh, I didn't ask them that far. I just know they. Had There's sex no way right. they do it in yeah. that. They probably got that's like how, a that's different what variation. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure they be fucking in in the costumes. Oh yeah. Because yeah. then why wear the costumes? True. They go to like they have the parties and stuff. I guess I'm quiet. Because <laughs> yeah. he's telling us stuff we don't know about. Man, he's trying to slip oh, it in there. Like, yeah, shit, you guys hey. never been to these parties? <laughs> no, no, no. no I've <laughs> never really been to a party in my life other than, like, what was it? One homecoming or something. But You've never been to a party? Nah, I've never really been to a party except for, like, my a birthday party or maybe a homecoming. JJ, you need to take him out and take him to some of them. We'll get him to a frat party. Yeah, take him to a frat yeah, party. Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll get You have to so experience a frat party, and I can't go. Yeah, I remember like <laughs> one, one reason. Yeah, that no, you're way yeah, too yeah, old, yeah, yeah. Brandon, I'm telling you now, dude, you're gonna be disappointed. <laughs> Whatever your expectations oh, no, is, are, lower it, them down. It is very lame. Like yeah. college parties are super lame. Well, I don't know which ones you go to, man. Yeah, we go to SIU. So I'm, I'm just University? talking about like in my experience uh-huh. at yeah. UAH, it's not great. But also, uh-huh. I don't, I don't fuck with partying. Like I'm not a, I'm not, not a party guy. I'm not a party. Yeah, guy. Like I'd rather like do kickbacks, like hang out. Smoke, drink, Same. Yeah. chill. I don't like being around a bunch of like weird ass people. Mm-hmm. Like um, me and my friends last year, we went down to Miami to meet up with a friend that goes to uh, the university. Mm-hmm. We went to a rave. That was the lamest shit ever, um, dude. They have to be on meth because yeah. they're like it's they shitty music to. and they're just gyrating for mm-hmm. hours and they're happy. And like we're drunk, but like we're all like <laughs> we're just making fun of the people there because it's uh-huh. like there's no way any of these people are like actually real. And then, and then we like left. We paid like sixty bucks to get it, and we left like within thirty minutes. Yeah, I'm with yeah. you. Last time I went to a rave was like when I was twenty four or twenty five, and I was like, "This is." That's when I started to become like, "This is the worst thing I've ever been." To. Like, <laughs> no, oh my is. god, I need to leave. Like you said, you paid all that money, but you're still like, I don't give a fuck. I just need to get yeah, out of here. Yeah, no, uh, nah. Brave isn't my thing, dude. Never <laughs> been to one. Don't really care to go. I feel I'd have a seizure within seconds. <laughs> you know. So what's just, happening at this? What 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 happens at the rave? Yeah. It's, it's, just, the it's and, just loud music and people ooh, gyrating. Ooh, 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 oh, kind of like dubstep ooh, shit. Like ooh, yes, yeah. exactly dubstep. Yeah. Oh, but like that for like hours. Mm-hmm. Oh shit. And it's ass. Like there's no words going on. And then there's just a DJ be like, put your hands up. Yeah. <laughs> wasn't that the scene that Travis? Wasn't that kind of like what happened with Travis Scott scene where where people died and shit because it was like, no it's not hell no they uh, no it wasn't that it that was a concert. Yeah. That's a concert. Okay, so a rave, a rave. It's just a party. Okay, rave has party. is usually going to have like lights uh, and fog machines, and a lot of people there on ecstasy, which mm. is a party drug that uh, just makes you want like everything feels good. Or they have uh, uh, meth in it, and then you just feel awake. <laughs> it could be cut with different things. I'm not saying I ever took it. <laughs> okay, but. <laughs> <laughs> <All right. laughs> Allegedly. Allegedly, yeah, allegedly. All right, Matthew, this is the end of the podcast. What you want to do right here? Say anything you have to promote, uh, um, all your tags, and it'll be right up on the left of you. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, Matthews underscore stupidity, and I uh, appreciate it. Hell yeah, man. Hey, thanks for coming on, dope. All right. Thanks, I appreciate it. Thank you for having me.